Good evening everyone, this is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. The time is 9.25 p.m. Mountain Time on September 9th. This will be my last report on Hurricane Irma here, and I'm doing this for my brother. He's from the Bonita area here, and he has evacuated all the way to northwestern Georgia. And his description three days ago, his trip up here up Tamiami Trail was Armageddon. Uh, and it's only going to get worse. And unfortunately, I, it's unfortunate that I have to do this forecast. So I'm going to show you that 16 of the models all agree that this is uh, going to do this in the next 24 hours. Come off of Cuba, intensify, and then start a historic storm surge of epic proportions along the western coast here. And you can see the wind direction here. So once the eye passes the southern tip of Florida, everything south of the eye here is going to get the tides driven inland. Um, the landfall somewhere near Naples here, Sunday afternoon or evening. And then quickly, look at Sunday midnight. Everything south of Tampa is going to have very high speed. It was just a quick 50, you know, 50 to 70 mile an hour winds driving these, this storm surge inland. Um, let me just let this model run real quick and then it's going to run up the coast. And what that does is it puts the entire state at risk of the highest winds and the highest rain. And let me show you the current, uh, watches and warnings this is the storm surge map and what it's showing is one to two feet of storm surge all the way up to north carolina and this is the coast that's nowhere near the storm the low is going to be in here and what it is showing is 10 feet or higher in this red zone In some of these areas, the storm surge could come inland up to 10 miles. Here it's 20 miles. My brother lives on the Imperial River up here in Benita. One of these rivers and they're looking at 10 to 15 feet up to one mile inland of this uh, above the ground, 10 to 15 feet here in the red. My brother's house is five feet up. So 15 feet puts it in the second story and he doesn't have a second story. So this is looking like a massive, destructive, historic storm. And we're gonna real quick look at the historic storms to make a comparison. Lake Okeechobee is probably doomed and that Herbert Hoover Dyke will probably blow and inundate all of these areas. But more importantly, the homes that are close to landfall here and all in this area, it could be a total loss, folks. Here's the rainfall totals. 15 plus inches all the way up almost to Cape Coral. There's going to be massive plus a 15 foot storm surge. That does not bode well. And let's just go back in history. Just to look at some stats, here's a historic, <clears throat> here's Hurricane Charlie 2004, similar track and the very, and the Florida uh, landfall here. Hurricane Charlie averaged 964 to 941 millibars at its strongest and it only took four and a half hours to get across Florida. Now I want to show you something here, folks. The Hurricane Center, where can I, is it here or did I erase it? It's not here. The Hurricane Center has uh, this hurricane currently sitting right off of Cuba here at 926 millibars, much less than the sh Hurricane Charlie. Hurricane Charlie only also only produced eight inches of rain and still cost over $15 billion. This has got uh, going to be a little bit more rain. And the storm surge is twice as high. The storm surge is only six to ten, six to ten feet, and here it's ten to fifteen feet. <clears throat> There's also hurricanes and tornado watch number four eighty one for all of southern Florida. 
and during Charlie, there were 16 tornadoes. So we're gonna probably see more than 16 tornadoes, more than 15 inches of rain. And one other thing I wanna show you before we leave, if you look at the current water vapor chart, just watch it swirl. You could see the eye redeveloping. It's gone and then it's redeveloping just as it goes offshore here of Cuba. This is right now live at 930. Uh, what we fear and what will happen, unfortunately, is this eye wall is going to get tight and it's going to just hook and curve and smash into this part of southwestern Florida. And I think the devastation is going to be beyond belief, to be quite honest. Let me show you the Naples watch. The Naples watch is for 110 to 130 mile an hour per hour wind gusts in the next 24 hours with 11 to 15 feet of storm surge above the ground. That's above the ground, folks. This is a lot of houses are going to be completely underwater. So I would suggest kicking up a prayer to those people in Florida right now because they're going to need all the help they can get. This is going to be uh, a nightmare for tens of thousands of people and a lot of debt, a lot of loss of life here. A lot of people stayed around that's really stupid and they're just not gonna make it. Because when this comes in here, anyone right in this area is gonna be doomed. And no one can come and help you. So get out if you can get out. And folks, sorry to report on this, but we can all help in the aftermath. So be safe.